Oh, here we go again. Hi guys, um, it has been way, 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 way too long since I've been on here. It's been about a month, I think. But reasonings for my absence are not my fault. It, it was outside elements that caused me to not be able to put out any new videos, even if I really, really tried. But I'm back, and I wanted to do a Q and A, uh, number two, two, and um, yeah. But before we get into the questions, I just wanted to um, kind of give like a little background story to as why I was gone and um, what were the things that really kept me from being active on my YouTube. Okay. So, um, if you guys didn't know, I had attended Art Rave, Lady Gaga's Art Rave, in Dallas, Texas on July 17th of last month, with July 17th. But anyways, I attended the concert, and, um, when I was packing to, okay, here's the thing, okay, we, I camped out for three days for Gaga's show in downtown Dallas in front of the American Airlines Center. But um, before we were we left, it was Monday, I believe, and it was in, it was like around four in the morning. Um, me and Michael Franco were loading up the car with our luggage. So, anyways, and while we were packing, um, we had put our computers in the backpack and put it in the front of the car. And as me and Michael were coming back up and down from my apartment building, someone came and stole my MacBook, Michael's MacBook, and Michael's cell phone. So, I had lost my computer, but the good thing was is that I had renter's insurance by USAA to cover for my losses. So I was going to get the things I had stolen back, it's just I had to wait for the claim to go through and with the police. And, yeah, so basically that's what kept me from being able to post. And I had tried to film videos on my iPod um, but that, that just didn't work out. So, um, yeah, the reasons why I were gone was because simply I had my computer robbed from me and I was not able to put out any of the videos that I had filmed that were already ready to go and upload. And I just had no time to really, I had no resources or anything to really make any more videos. So yeah, don't be mad. It's not my motherfucking fault. Anyways, I'm going to get on to the questions. It's around, it's 9 o'clock right now, and I don't know how many questions I'm going to answer just because I want to make this video at a viewable length. So um, if your questions don't get answered, please don't feel bad. It's just that I really want to um, make this video at a viewable pace because if I answered all the questions it would be just a really really long boring video so don't feel discouraged I will film more Q&A's if there if there's popular demand of them and so yeah let's get on to question one okay first question is from commander underscore underscore Katza and she asked how do you get your top eyeliner on point and the answer to that in any makeup whether it's your eyebrows, your eyeshadow, your eyeliner, your contour, whatever, it really just takes practice. It really doesn't necessarily have any specific technique because my technique, I used to do my liner with a gel eyeliner from MAC and then I switched over to liquid. It really just, it just takes a lot of um, practice and learning what looks good on your eye shape and on your face shape. So really anything um, makeup wise is really just a lot of practice and a lot of determination to get it but what I do is like I take my winged eyeliner right and simply I just fill the top of my eye until I hit about the end then I simply just draw out a point and then I just fill make like the outline and then I fill in the shape so yeah that's how you do it okay next motherfucking question at Gaga's Kingdom asks, would you fuck Gaga? Oh. 
Well, <laughs> I honestly don't think I would. It's not that I don't find her attractive. It's just that she's sort of like, kind of like a motherly influence on me in a lot of ways. And I just don't see her in a sexual way. Like I don't see, I don't lust after her in a sexual way. So to answer that, no, I don't, I don't think I would. I think I would rather just, you know, have tea and fuck bitches. Underscore Emily asks, underscore Emily underscore X3 asks, who does your nails? You're legit my inspiration on eyeliner, by the way. I love you and stalk you all the time, but I never know if you read anything I comment. Well, Emily, I do. If I don't get to, if I don't necessarily reply to the comment, it's not that I'm ignoring you or that I'm not reading it. It's just that I read it. I'm just busy and I really wish I had more time to really spend more time on my social media because believe it or not, as much as people think that I really do live on social media, what really happens is that I just really just post the picture and then just get off. And then I cut and I log back in like a couple hours later. So whenever I come back and the comments are there, it's just, I really just don't have time to reply to everything, but I do appreciate everything that you guys write and say, and I do read it, so don't think I don't, and yeah. But anyways, who does your nails? Um, I go to Elite, and um, well, if you live in Carlsbad, it's the um, nail salon next door to Pet Sense by Denny's, and I always get done by her daughter, which I just forgot her name, and I just forgot the owner's name too. But um, I always go there, and they're super friendly to me. Um, they tell me that I have I'm like the most creative person who comes in there, like when it comes to nails, because a lot of people just get the regular square tips, and I always get the long stiletto nails and crazy colors. So they say that I'm a lot of fun to work with. So yeah, and I always get front chair too, which is a good thing because a lot of other bitches get a fucking back chair, but I get front chair when I'm there. Okay, I'm gonna answer like, okay, I'll answer some of them just because she was, he or she really tried hard, so I'll answer a couple of them. And the one, one of, from at Gaga3356 asks, what's your favorite Gaga song? I don't even want to go into that. I love everyone and it really just depends on what mood I'm in. So one day I could feel like really into swine and then the other day I could feel into AA from the fame, or some days I could be into So Happy I Could Die, or Bad Romance, or Born This Way, or Judas, or Bad Kids, or Black Jesus, and just, I don't have a favorite. They're all my favorite in all their ways, and it just really depends on what mood I'm in. Who's your favorite drag queen? And my favorite drag queen is always, who will, my, blah, 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 my favorite drag queen and who will always be my favorite is Jada Sofia from season three. She's a Puerto Rican queen, just like me. That's one thing also that people don't seem to understand that my race is Puerto Rican. But anyways, um, I love Jada Sofia. She's, I just love her to death. She's a wicked bitch, but she also knows how to be very glam and very beautiful. And you know, I just love the versatility that she does in drag, especially with her hair and body and you know, just everything. Jada Sophia all the way. The true winner of season three, if you ask me. Maddie Likes Pizza asks, how tall are you? I am five foot six inches. So there you go. <laughs> Dark At Dark Blue Royal Prince asks, how do you feel? What do you think about homophobic people? Um, it's not what... That's not what they think, it's what they do that really bothers me. Maddie underscore Inferno asks, do you picture yourself doing a tour to meet your fans? Well, yeah, sure. If I have, if I had a bus, and if I didn't have school, and if I didn't have a job. So, hopefully in the future, whenever I become a star, I'll be able to do that. Um, I will, I'm open to the idea now, it's just that realistically I don't have the financial ability to really go out and do that, and I don't really have, you know, time. But, in the future when I'm famous, just you wait, I will be there for everything. Okay, the last question, from at 
Eva Destruction XOXO. If it's a boy or okay, it. No, not it. He, she, the person who asked the question said, "It's my birthday tomorrow. Please, a happy birthday." Well, um, I, I pretty, I'm not sure what you're exactly saying in there, but I'll sing you happy birthday if you want. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, baby. Destruction, exo, exo, exo. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday.